Hog. Dice. Hogwash. Pop culture. Deadpool. His scars. Where did they come from? And usually when people do a video like this on YouTube, they have this whole big long-winded spiel introducing the character and talking about it, even though it's always a character everyone already knows about. So I'm gonna skip that. And we're going to get, get straight to the point of talking about his scars. By the way, I'm, I'm talking specifically about movie Deadpool. Pretty much all of this could probably apply to comic Deadpool as the movie didn't stray that far away from the comics. But I don't have the comics on hand to reference, so I'm going to explicitly say I'm not talking about that for now. Just so I don't get any nitpickers. Cool. In the movie, Deadpool gets his scars, along with his healing powers, as a result of Ajax's experiments and torture trying to activate Wade's X-gene and latent mutations. But do they really count as scars? The medical definition of a scar is a mark left in the skin by the healing of injured tissue. But when we see Deadpool scars develop, there's nothing healing. They're just popping up out of his skin. There, there's no injuries there for them to be healing. So they don't really count as scars. If they're not scars, what are they? If they were caused by Wade's healing factor, then is there some way that rapid healing can cause markings like that on the skin? That was a rhetorical question. There is. That, that, that's the, the point of this video. It's a skin disease. The name of that skin disease is psoriasis. I used to have psoriasis, but technically no one used to have psoriasis. You either have it or you don't. Mine currently isn't flaring up. I used to have a big patch of there, and my scalp used to be covered in it. But really, it's only a matter of time before it rises up again. Kind of like fascism in Europe. Psoriasis is a chronic skin disease and is often genetic. It causes raised red blotchy areas of skin, along with dry white flaky scales across the top. These lesions are often painful and most often occur on the back of the arm, the shins and the scalp, but they can appear anywhere on the body. The lesions resemble burn scars, quite a bit like Deadpool scars do. It's often painful, it has no cure, it's not contagious, and it can be triggered or exacerbated by emotional or physical stress or trauma. Very much like the kind of emotional stress and trauma one would have if they were kidnapped, held against their will, experimented on against their will, tortured and forced to watch their best friend die. But surely if Wade had this disease, his healing powers would cure it. Weirdly, no. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease caused by a hyperactive immune system that reproduces skin cells at a rate up to 10 times faster than normal. So if anything, Wade's healing powers, which can regrow a limb in a matter of hours, would actually speed up the reproduction of skin cells even further and make the psoriasis worse. But doesn't cancer also cause the rapid reproduction of cells? Wouldn't his healing factor make that worse too? That's true, but. The rapid reproduction of cells caused by cancer is caused by defects in the cancer cells themselves rather than a defect in the immune system. As well as that, the rapidly reproduced cells caused by cancer tend to be blank cells that don't really do anything other than reproduce quickly. The rapidly reproduced cells caused by psoriasis are fully functioning skin cells. Pushing a little further, Ajax's method of induced mutation is supposed to function by causing the X gene to act on any potential latent mutation in the subject's DNA and pull a new survival mechanism out of it. The rapid skin cell reproduction of psoriasis, which does essentially just keep constantly healing the skin at an incredibly rapid rate, regardless of whether there is an injury or not, that is essentially what psoriasis is, could be the basis upon which Deadpool's X-Gene worked in order to create his healing power. In other words, the X-Gene may have taken the psoriasis and turned it into his healing powers. If Deadpool started off with psoriasis in the first place, perhaps it became so severe due to Ajax's experimentations 
that it is now constantly healing every part of his body, always. So, the markings on Wade's skin are not, medically speaking, scars. They do strongly resemble the lesions caused by psoriasis. Psoriasis is often genetic and can lie dormant until triggered. It can be triggered by trauma and emotional stress, like the trauma and emotional stress that Wade suffered in the movie. Because it's a result of overhealing, Wade's healing powers could actually cause it to spread far more rapidly and completely than it normally would. Is it canon? Fuck no. Does it make sense? That's up to you. Do you agree with my assessment, or do you have another idea on where Wade's scars came from? Please leave your opinions and comments down below. I would love to hear what you think.